Hello and welcome to WorshipTutorials.com. My name is Brian and I'm joined today by Fuller. By hey everybody, how y'all doing? By Fuller, a monster guitar player, worship leader, uh, good friend, and uh, uh, we today have a demo of a, a really unique and what are the word? What are the adjectives we would use to describe this guitar? A uh, unique is good. Just sweet. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Um, classic. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Um, All of these words. Finely t high end. I very, would say. very, very yeah. high end boutique. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Electric guitar. This is a, a, a new manufacturer, a new brand um, called Shelton, and uh, right there on the headstock you can see Shelton. And Shelton makes, uh, his, his tagline is, uh, remember the future. I think it's fitting because his guitars, like this example, this is a, what is this one called? The Time Flight. The Time Flight, Flight. yeah. Which is, as you can see, a T-style guitar, a uh, Tele-style guitar. But uh, but yeah, Shelton makes, makes very, very high-end, uh, very unique instruments, sort of based on classic designs and styles and sounds. So remember the future is fitting. To me, a, a great guitar has to be uh, above everything, easy to play. Yeah, and this guitar really plays well, and uh, yeah. I love it. There's a link below where you can go check out all the specs for this guitar because it is for sale, and uh, you can see everything about this. And it comes with like a custom, I think it's G and G case, and it is. Yeah, the case looks really sweet too. Super plush. Yeah. The whole package is just but really. Great. I pulled the thing out, I tuned it, and it just it, the yeah. action, the setup on this thing is great. Yeah. The uh, the intonation was completely spot on. Yeah, it's I don't just, even think I tuned it before we recorded the tracks. No, and it sounded great. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> it's, it's like just, you buy a guitar from the store. Yeah, you expect to stay in, stay in tune yeah, forever. Yeah, and the yeah. playability on this thing yeah. is amazing. So we can talk about specs yeah. a little bit. Um, we've got uh, Godo uh, staggered tuners, mm -hmm. so no need for a string tree. Yeah, which I love is cool. the staggered tuners. Great, which is, it keeps yeah. the headstock clean, and yeah. I, this headstock looks. Really cool. Yeah, I love how he puts the sunburst up here, and then there's still this kind of unfinished yeah. signature logo right there. It's yeah, just, it's really cool. unique. And if you can't tell, like there's finish checking on all the, the headstock. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a nitro lacquer finish. This one has a fat a C neck, so it is yeah. pretty. It's like it's pretty thick. Yeah, it's pretty thick. Pretty thick. It uh, Shelton told me it's more like a uh, like a '50s Esquire kind of mm -hmm. a feel. On and the it's neck. got like a slight gloss coating on the back, which is yeah. great because I, I love the way it's, it's just real smooth when you play it. Yeah, yeah, it's not sticky. It's like it's been played yeah. for a while. Yeah. Yep. Uh, rosewood board. Obviously, it's got a ash body. Uh, Lots of lots of relicking finish checking on it. Yeah. Now the reason we found out about Shelton uh, was was through good friend Brian Porter who makes Porter pickups, which yeah, are awesome. Yeah, killer. And these guys all come with Porter pickups. This particular guitar has a Porter classic humbucker in the neck and a Porter custom Tele bridge, uh, and uh, which is a great combination. Yeah, they said you'll hear it and just yeah. throughout this video we'll be we'll be putting some playing in so you can hear it. <laughs> Let's talk about the pickups. Let's talk about them. Because they're guitars. talking to me. So this guitar has Porter uh, pickups. Now, mm -hmm. if you watch Worst Tutorials videos, you know that I personally am a humongous fan of Brian Porter and his Porter pickups that he makes. All hand wound. Uh, I have three or four guitars with Porter pickups. And uh, this is the third Telecaster that I have actually had in my possession with Porter pickups. So I have a uh, an MJT that has vintage Tele pickups, which are probably my favorite pickup, like for a Tele that I've heard nice. ever. 
Um, I have the 9Ts in a guitar, which I'll demo soon. And these have, I think we mentioned earlier, the custom bridge and the classic humbucker neck. What, what do you think about these pickups? Like the bridge pickup. The bridge pickup is awesome. It's a little it's hotter. It's bitey. Yeah. It's got that classic. Bruce Springsteen, just yeah, you know Tom Petty grit nastiness, yes. like very. And the demo, there's very little gain on it, but it has just this yeah. bite and fullness to it. You know, it's a telly sound, so you know it's bright, um, but it's it's nice. It's just yeah. pleasant. I, I I was really really pleased with the with the bridge. Yeah, telly bridge is probably my favorite pickup of all time. It's classic. Yeah, can't go wrong. Um, it's, it cuts great in a do, mix. Too. You can do rock really yeah, well. And yeah. It, yeah, it does yeah. really well. Yeah, if you're mix. playing in a band, especially if there's two guitars or a lot of instruments, yeah. the Telly Bridge, I think, is one of the best sounds for cutting through a mix. Yeah. I do a lot of recording in the studio, and I'm always going to the bridge pickup because it, it just always fits nice. Yeah. Um, and this one, so Telly Bridges, I think, can get a little thin and harsh yeah. if they're not great. Yeah, not this, this one. This one's yeah. good. A lot of a lot of really big bottom end on it too. Yeah, it's good. But and it's the custom telly, which is a little higher output, I think. Uh, and yeah, it, it pairs, felt pretty hot. Yeah. It pairs well with a humbucker, which that you know that's all on purpose. So uh, a humbucker and a telly is not like a telly purist is not going to like that. Sure, I, I I still sometimes lose sleep over it, <laughs> <laughs> but I like it. I like it. Yeah. yeah so this one is uh, what what I don't know. What did you hear when you played this? Um, telly? this one is just a really nice. Uh, to me, again, it, it kind of sounds almost a little bit rockabilly Gretsch style yeah. kind of Filtron feel to it. Filter, yeah. And I don't know if it's because of the density of the body or whatever, but there's there's it's got a lot it doesn't sound like what I would say a classic humbucker like an a Les Paul sounds like. It's got a yeah. lot more I think depth to it and probably a little more mid range yeah. as well. Um it's very warm too yeah. for a for a for a, a neck uh yeah. pickup, you well, know. Porter makes a, a a PAF style, which is what you'd find in a Les Paul. Yeah. He yeah. makes those. Yeah. Um but yeah, yeah, this is his mm -hmm. what he calls the classic. You know, I'm always a little skeptical because I, I am one of the telly purists. I like single coils in my tellies, but <laughs> uh, so but I was really pleased with the way that the two pickups sounded together and worked yeah. together. Yes. Um, and so, so to me, that's really where the money is. Is is it, it doesn't matter if a pickup sounds great by itself. Yeah. But but when in context with the rest of the guitar, yeah. switching to the other pickups, how's it going to sound? And it really yeah. blends well together. Wiring is all made by Emerson, uh, Emerson Custom Wiring. Fuller, tell us a little bit about the wiring, because it's definitely unique. Yeah, so this. And he I was. does this with all his Tele style guitars. Yeah, when we first started playing this, I was actually shocked because this has a wiring configuration that I've actually never heard of. Yeah. So either well, I'm it's super a, ignorant. It's a five way switch. Yeah. On well, a, a five way switch, which, yeah, I've heard of, but <laughs> this one in particular. So the fifth position uh, is the bridge by itself. The second position is the bridge and the neck parallel, which is pretty standard. Yeah. And then the third or uh, middle position or third position is the neck by itself, which all that checks out. That's pretty like normal. A, that's I, like a normal. Tone. I was expecting that's that. That's like bridge, middle, neck. Yeah, it's great. Now here's where it gets really cool. Yeah. So the second position it would be the second position is uh, a tone roll off switch. Uh, or a uh, cap, I guess. And so when you flip it to there, you're playing, but it's almost like your tone knob is completely rolled off. So it, a gives, little you, bit, yeah. it gives a really warm, jazzy feel, yeah. which is actually really brilliant when you think about it, yeah. because one of the things about rolling your tone knob off, it, trying to get it back in the right place where it was before yes. you started. So this way, it's just like, boom, right there, and then it you switch it back. It doesn't sound to me like a complete tone roll. No, well, not complete, but it's it's it's, it's a like, pretty big it's cut. Like the sweet yeah. spot. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty, yeah, it's awesome. Most, I people, just, most people don't touch the tone knob. 
It's like turn those things to ten. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this but. one's great. And so when we opened up this guitar and, and unpackaged it, I, I I spent a lot of time on that position because yeah. it was just fun. It's fun to play. And then, of course, the first position are the bridge and the neck in a series, um, which gives you a little fatter, which yeah. is also kind of pretty normal on a four-way. You yeah. see a lot of Kelly's with a four-way switch where that fourth position will be in a series, yeah. but this one gives you that fifth, fifth position tone roll off, which is that, sweet. That series is kind of like a humbucker kind of a sound. Yeah, it's a little fatter. But it's both already, pickups together, and it's louder, yeah. too. You it's got louder. a humbucker in yeah. there, so it just fattens the whole thing yeah. up. It's pretty cool. Yeah. A little more mid-range mm -hmm. kind of a sound. Well, the other thing too I want to say, Brian, is it's not very noisy at all, no. which is great because yes. I've played some tellies. I actually have a telly that sounds awesome, but it is so noisy and I can't get the ground out. Um, this one is actually yeah. at its noisiest, very quiet, which mm -hmm. is good. Yeah, yeah. Awesome pickups. Uh, obviously, big fans of Porter pickups around here. All right, so I'll tell you a little bit more about Shelton um, and Shelton Electric Instruments. Uh, I've, Like I said, I've sort of interacted with him. Uh, quite a bit. Um, he's you could think of him kind of as a small shop. He actually started out. He's been in the in the the instrument business for a while, sort sort of buying and selling vintage guitars uh, for well over ten years. I think is is what he said. He's sort of come to know over time like what guitars guitar players really love. Yeah. Especially when it comes to old guitars. Uh, and the sort of things that players are looking for. And uh, he said the timing was just pretty much perfect for him with as far as his staff that he has, has put together for him to build his own line of guitars that what he feels is kind of like the sweet spot in, in what players want versus and, and sort of the playability and the, the features that players want because his guitars are definitely unique. Yeah, you can go to a guitar store and spend as much money as you want on a guitar, but most likely you're going to get, it's like going to a clothing store, you're going to get something someone else has. Yeah. Whereas with Shelton, That's you're right. getting a very, un every guitar is very unique. Yeah, they're and all different. Specific. And it really is like the best of the best of the best stuff. Yeah. Um, so we were playing this and it, I, I've i played a lot of nice guitars, you know, like a Gretsch White Falcon and some Duesenbergs and... Uh, yeah. And uh, so, some PRS, which PRS makes probably the most playable guitars I've ever played. They're very good. I've played a lot of crappy guitars. Gosh, me too. And this is not I one of them. I think everyone's played <laughs> a lot of crappy yeah, guitars. Yeah, that's a beauty. You know, <laughs> I've played a, a lot of terrible guitars. Yeah. This is definitely not one of those. But yeah. I would say this guitar, as far as playability and, and just tone and the yeah, feel Yeah, it doesn't really get any better. I mean, it's, 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 it's right there. It's, yeah. It's up there with the best of the best that I've ever played. Yeah, and the yeah. action is set up great. That's the other thing, too. Sometimes you might spend five grand on a guitar, and it's yeah. not really been set up. Yeah. This is actually, and, and to me, the setup is crucial. The setup yeah. is everything about a guitar. These are all, already very professionally set up. The other thing about this guitar, too, Brian, is the weight. Yeah. It's, it's, it's not... Well, Super, super heavy, Let's like a compare it. yeah, like a standard telly. <laughs> so this yeah. is a a, a '90s, uh, 1992 to be exact, Fender US Telecaster, yeah, which is a great guitar. It's a great and, guitar. Uh, sounds awesome. Plays mm -hmm. great. Sounds like a Telecaster. Twenty four year yeah. old guitar. Mm -hmm. uh, one does not have even an ounce of the mojo. As oh yeah, the this way one. it looks. Yeah, and stuff. yeah. This one's rocking. This guitar. Yeah. But playability is not quite the same. Yeah. Although, I mean, a Fender US Telecaster. They're, that plays great. They're yeah. very, 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 very high quality yeah. instruments. But this thing is like it weighs a ton. It's a boat yeah. anchor, man. This thing is probably three <laughs> times you... the weight. But what's cool about it, I have some pretty light guitars myself. Yeah. Protect my back because after playing on yeah. So all these Fuller years, and I value yeah. When you get to guitars. a certain age, you start <laughs> saving as much as you can. So my guitars are super light. This guitar is 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 kind of 
not really light, but it's also not very heavy. Yeah. And the cool thing about it is it doesn't really sacrifice tone. If you go right. too, too light, yeah. you start losing a lot of tone. Like this it weighs as much as an end table. Um, <laughs> this is just a this nice, thing, solid piece of wood. Forever. You know, you know, it, it, it it's heavy enough to keep your strap where it needs to be. It's still got um, it. Yeah, still got you it. Get still you, got the you'll sustain. Get a bite to eat and it's roll, still going. That roll, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can hear the sustain. Um, but yeah, this is. I, I would say appropriate. I, I would say even maybe the perfect weight for for, I think a, so. for a guitar. Well, Fuller and I too, we both play uh, thin line tellies a lot. Yeah, which are super light. Which yeah. are really light because yeah. they're basically semi. I mean, they're, they're yeah, hollowed out. Body, they're yeah. center block. Yeah. The this is a solid body guitar. Yeah. Um, and I was actually surprised at how lightweight it. It's extremely comfortable. Yeah. Um, the other thing too that I I mean uh, you see a lot of relic jobs. A lot um, that are not good. This is a killer gosh it's cool amazing <laughs> relic yeah. job and uh, i don't know if you got some close-up photos you can show but i do i took yeah. some pictures and this, uh, you can you can go to shelton's site uh we'll link to it below yeah where you can see high resolution images of this mm -hmm. guitar and all um, of the hardware is um aged the same way so yeah. it really all does look like it came from the same time frame yeah um which is which is important you don't want part of the guitar to look like it was yeah. from 1952 and part to look like it's from yeah this looks this looks yeah. like a 60s custom yeah tub. it looks like i don't know where this guitar has been but i bet it has an awesome history yeah you know that's that's kind of yeah. what this guitar says definitely and there are a lot of relic uh guitars out there they're, they're kind of a an in thing yeah. to get a relic Sure, it's cool. You know, an old, like a vintage Fender style relic guitar. Yeah. This one to me is unique and it's sort of set apart from that pack a little bit uh, because of some of the the the, the appointment, like the mm -hmm. headstock is a little different. Yeah. Um, it looks like it looks like the same thing that kind of a lot of these people have now, but but not quite. You yeah. Got, you got something a little special. Well, and the other cool thing about it, Brian, is that um, there are certain parts of the guitar that are not relic that the parts you don't want relic, like the edges of the neck here and the back of the neck are, you want those to last yeah. and you want those to play well. And so, but what's cool about it on a normal relic guitar, you you might not have that relic and it looks out of place. Yeah. But this actually it's, looks like it just didn't get beat up. It's tinted. Yeah, yeah. yeah so like it, it looks like it looks they just worn. kept this part of the guitar in really good shape while the rest of the guitar kept getting beat up over yeah. gigs. Yeah. Um, so it, it does, and I think that's part of their vibe. You know, remember the future is that it doesn't seem out of place at all. It's just like, oh, great, a neck it that plays feels, really well and is great. in really great shape. Because yeah. you want the neck to be perfect on a guitar. Yeah. And um, This is some yeah. of the best fretwork I've ever seen. Yeah, the fretwork is stellar. So he has you know, a... Uh, it's kind of he, flat top. It's kind of like the, the frets are flattened a little bit. He has a uh, uh, an employee that works uh, along with him that just does all the fret work yeah. like by hand. Hand polished, hand fought, yeah. everything, crown. But like the, the ends of the fret are like just perfectly rounded yeah. off and smooth. I don't know if you play, if you play uh, less expensive guitars... A lot of times, fingers, yeah. the, the the fret ends are sharp. Even on even on some really high end guitars, or if you buy a neck from somebody like Warmoth or like a high end replacement neck, it'll you 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 got to dress get, them. Yeah. yeah, you won't get that hand polished, rounded off thing. But you do with this. It reminds me of I have a Martin D thirty five that I play in all these videos. Yeah, that's a great. And uh, if you live in the Raleigh, Durham, Chapel Hill area, there's a guy you need to take your guitar to. The fret called, king. The fret king. Mark, Mark Kane. Kane. Yeah. Mark ref fretted my uh my my martin and it's just like it way better than yeah it, yeah it i think mark mark has touched most of my guitars yeah yeah he's, <laughs> this he's, guy he's, is he's a, a magician beast. but yeah this guitar to me feels like mark mark got it in his it hands. really does i mean this is magic on it this is a professionally touched guitar it, yeah. there's nothing about this guitar that um that says cheap or amateur. Right. Yeah. So like I said earlier, this guitar is for sale and uh, Shelton wants to give you a discount. So if you get in touch with him, again, there's a link below uh, to uh, to get in touch with Shelton um, and just tell him that you Worship Tutorials sent you and he will give you 10% off nice. of this guitar. That's Includes awesome. the case, everything. Let me tell you, I may take him up on that offer myself. Yeah, this is a great thing, guitar. This is a sweet guitar. And there's only one. So when this one's sold, it's gone. Yeah. And then yeah. it's on to the next Yeah, the next and he guitar. makes... I would also recommend that you check his stuff out. So uh, he Yeah, he's has, got a lot of really cool he guitars He has sort of there. a line of... There's the, the This is the Time Flight. He makes one called the Galaxy Flight, which is yeah. uh, more of a an offset 
jazz master style yep. guitar. He makes one like a Strat style guitar. I forget what those are called. Anyway. Oh no, but any uh, every guitar is unique and handmade. All unique, so yeah. there's not a huge stock of them. That's the other thing too. Yeah. So if you're a if you're in the market to buy a, a great unique one of a kind guitar, you may want to jump on it because yeah. it. it or there's going to be a long line probably out the door. To, yeah. You know, it takes a while to build yeah. a great guitar, and it's not like there's 50 of these on his website. There's just right. a, handful a handful of them. Handful they're of very them. unique. And so. there are some dealers uh, around the world, yeah. actually. So, um, and he has, like, he works with Porter pickups, so all his guitars will have Porter pickups, but he uses some pretty unique pickup designs from Porter. You get, one of them has, like, a Jazzmaster, but with the the wide range Tele oh, humbucker, nice. yeah. like the 70s Fender yeah. wide range kind of pickup style in them, yeah which is really cool i really want to try one of those out um let's do but it. yeah check his let's do it <laughs> let's yeah. do it <laughs> and uh but check his site out and uh you'll see you'll see what he's got he's really really uh i think he has a great eye for design because the yeah, color definitely. combinations yeah. that he puts together and like the pick guard materials and stuff are not yeah. typical it's you want not all like, of them it's everyone not like, you look at you go that's the one i yeah. want then you look at another one and you go, well, that's the one I want. It's not yeah. black and vintage white yeah. and sunburst, you know. Yeah, right. Yeah. They're it's super unique. Yeah, yeah very different. Um, you would definitely stand out with a Shelton yeah. guitar in your hand. So, so yeah, if you're interested in this, uh, let him know, and uh, he'll give you a little discount on this very guitar. Uh, we said earlier that we re wrote and recorded a little piece for you, so we're going to play that now. And you'll hear some different sounds, and there'll be some subtitles about what you're yeah. hearing. Uh, we tried to use all of the... Uh, the pickup combinations and we used a variety of of amps one we used this agape yep great uh, amp. 18 watt tribute which is a hand wired uh and the fantastic amp yep. um and we used uh, a line six helix for some which sounds is too, killer which also yeah awesome. it was fun it was a lot of fun yeah. recording it. Uh, so check this video out and then we'll see you next time thanks for watching <laughs>